Hey everyone! Happy two days before Ash Wednesday. Or maybe Ash Wednesday Eve Eve. Either way, it means that this Wednesday is the beginning of Lent. And you might already know what that means. It means we've all got to give up something. Well, not really. Or at least there's a much deeper meaning than that. And to help us understand that deeper meaning, I've got my wallet here today. And I've had this wallet for some time now. You should have seen my old wallet. It was awesome, but it ripped a hole in all of my pants. Now this new wallet is pretty cool too. Plus it doesn't rip my jeans. And I've had it for some time now, so I've, I've kind of just started collecting cards and, and putting them in here. You know how you'll find a card and you almost get a little bit too afraid to lose it because, you know, one day you might need it. So I've, I've gotten pretty successful uh, at filling this card, at filling this wallet. I've even gotten to the point where I can, these are these secret little pockets that I, I've even filled up those. But I've got my, my Stewart's Milk Club card, I've got gift cards to restaurants like O'Toole's, but I think I've already used that one, so it probably doesn't have that much. I've got my Walgreens Balance Rewards card. I've got a lot of cards in here, a lot of important stuff. But here's the problem. I got this wallet a really long time ago, mainly just to hold my driver's license. All in all, my driver's license is the only thing I really need on my person at all times. And so I've spent a good amount of time trying to figure out which one of these cards I would be willing to sacrifice to make room for the one thing that I have this wallet for. And so our lives are sort of like my wallet, crammed with things that we're pretty sure we need. But instead of those things being something like a Stewart's Milk Club card, which I am five half gallons away from a free half gallon, our lives are crammed with things like Netflix, or video games, or Facebook and Instagram. And so Lent is a time that we can reflect on all those things that we have crammed into our lives, repent against the distractions by giving one of them up, or taking something on that might strengthen our relationship with God, like prayer journals, or reading a book, or letters of gratitude. And finally, Lent is a time to reconcile our relationship with God. So that's reflect, repent, and reconcile. That sounds pretty good, right? And we do this by removing something to make space for the one thing. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody. Bye. I guess I could do without what's probably 35 cents to O'Toole's.